Hi folks and welcome back here to the Vegas Don Channel. We are here at Sahara Avenue across from the Sahara Las Vegas and Las Vegas Boulevard, the very north end of the Las Vegas Strip. Ready to head southbound here. Wait for uh, vehicle traffic in front of us. And you can see Fountain Blue there on the left, Hilton Grand Vacations there on the right, and a forerunner here that wants to share my lane with me. The uh, Hilton building, I believe, is the uh, timeshare. And you have the Fountain Blue there, which uh, has been standing since like 07, but then the recession hit back then, and uh, or at least that recession hit, and um, construction ceased. It stood vacant for all those years, over a decade, and then they finally got it opened up last year. I haven't been inside yet. That's going to be done in a future video, so please stay tuned. And we hope Grand Vacations Club here at the Timeshare at the north end of the Las Vegas Strip. You got the Sky Building here, Sky Las Vegas. This is a private condominium residence. Show you a little bit of the Fountain Blue here. That's their uh, one of their entrances right there. You look straight up, and uh, the pale—not pale. I'm sorry. The blue panel windows on both sides, all sides really. It's almost a mirror effect. Sky Plaza here on the right, and then you got Circus Circus. Long time. Las Vegas Strip Institution, Circus Circus, here on the right. Right next to Resorts World, one of the newer resort casinos here on Las Vegas Boulevard, and in Las Vegas. That fountain blue stretching over here on our left. Travelodge, an ad for Travelodge there. Water, they took the two, two for a dollar away, they blacked it out, now it's just a dollar. <laughs> Inflation is killing everyone. Circus Circus Food Court there. Then you have this open lot here, right next to the convention center, Las Vegas Con Convention Center right there. Slots of fun here at Circus Circus Resorts World. The Conrad Hilton. Resorts World. Go ahead and uh, get in this lane and wait for this light. But that thing gives us an opportunity to take a look over here at the convention center before someone blocks us. And there is Resorts World right there. With their marquee lit up on. And Encore and Wynn right next to a Ross. So if you come to Vegas, stay at the Encore and you forgot your club for the, your outfit for the club, just head on downstairs to the uh, Ross and get yourself an outfit. UFC and our nice national fight week over here at Resorts World being advertised. Crockford's and Hilton. Hotel parking, etc. This is one long line for no traffic. Denny's is right here at the base of, well, just north of the base of Encore and Wynn. And the Pepper Mill is another long time Las Vegas Strip institution. The Pepper Mill up in Reno is a full blown hotel casino. But that's the Pepper Mill right there. Across the street here from Resorts World. Traffic is really light today. Really, really light. Oh, just in time for another red light. Don't you love how they do that? And you get these LED signs all over the place here, these LED displays that are just, they're becoming ubiquitous, and at some point, <laughs> they're gonna cause an accident because you've got so many of them. And they're so bright, especially at night, too, on our nighttime stri uh, strip driving videos. You've seen that. There's Taco Cell Gordo, which is a, uh, the Tijuana BC now in Las Vegas. Love store being advertised there. Encore, Palazzo just beyond it. And then the, uh, what does that say, AU? A Club? And then 
Meat Joe's Tacos next to Fat Tuesday there, attached to Resorts World. Tacos El Pastor. Tacos, tacos, tacos. There's tacos everywhere. That's another uh, souvenir shop slash shopping center there. Come up here to another light here. This is called Genting Boulevard on this side. Cathedral Way on the east side there. As we continue southbound here. You can see Treasure Island up here on the right. That's one of the only, if not the only, strip casinos that still has free parking. It's amazing how they've uh, done away with free parking here in this town. And the ch prices that they charge for it. It's crazy. We've seen even downtown Fremont Street where the parking is $50 on the weekends. 50 five, zero. And there's Encore Beach Club there. This person wants to just lackadaisically drift over. There's Fashion Show Mall right there. It looks like a big surfboard. At least that's what it looks like to me. There on the top of it, along with some shopping and dining in there. The entrance here to Encore. And we're going to go ahead and get over to No, we're not, because that made ends. Palazzo and Venetian. They have some cranes out front here, so it looks like they're doing some work to the Palazzo. I'm not sure what the work constitutes or is constituted of. There's the top of the Palazzo there, and there's the top of Treasure Island over there, and then the CBS there on the corner has another huge LED there with Mike Tyson's. Uh, Mike Tyson advertising for somebody up there, UFC now. Brunch but make it Vegas, beyond brunch, at Area 15, which is just to the west of us on the other side of Interstate 15. I've not been over there. I've never been to Area 15. I've heard a lot about it. I've heard it can be kind of expensive. But that's part of the course here on the Las Vegas Strip or near the Strip. A taste worthy of what? Right, let's see what that said. They were advertising a beer up there. And they have a Netflix Stranger Things official store. <laughs> It's being advertised on that Spring Mountain Road, which is uh, another major east-west artery here in town. There's the shipwreck here at TI. Sirens Cove. And the uh, Venetian over here on our left. We're going to pull in here to the Mirage, which is about to go the way of the Dodo Bird. is about to be demolished and replaced with a huge guitar-shaped hotel similar to the one in Hollywood, Florida, just north of Miami, run by the Seminole Indian tribe. We're going to go in here and uh, try to find a place to park, taxis only. That way, self park is to the left here. There we go. Oh, that says okay. Self park right there. Okay. There's the Trump building there. No, uh, no gambling in there. It's just a hotel. We're gonna make this stop here and proceed on one of these little access roads.
I guess parking is free right now. And that's not bad. That's a good thing. It's very rare. <laughs> they didn't advertise it. We'll go ahead and continue moving up the parking garage here. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. I don't know if they're going to keep this parking garage here or if they will uh, replace it as well. We've got uh, parking here and there, everywhere. We're going to, no, we can't go in there. Okay, and we'll go follow this Tesla. Elevators to Casino. We're going to go ahead and just park right here. And see the view out there. That tree is swaying. Wow. Thought we were in an earthquake for a minute there. Just want to get out and show you the view here. In this parking garage. And there's the street we just came in off of. There is Palazzo and the Venetian. Lots of plots is on the left there. Venetian's right there. You look out here at their grounds. This is all going to go away. They're going to replace it with that uh, guitar shaped hotel. And then over here on our left, Treasure Island. I want to thank you also very, very much, all of you. And uh, I just want to show you the new gear here, the Vegas Don gear, available on our shop section there on uh, YouTube. We have the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas Skyline. So uh, feel free to check it out. All sorts of different sizes and, and styles, weather gear, etc. cetera. Um, so check that out. Hopefully you find something you like. Thanks for joining everyone. Always remember that here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you again soon.